people that came out today. Thank you so much for coming to the Universal Animal Actor Show. Our three o'clock show here on January 8th, 2023. Who would have thought we'd last that long? We've been here almost 50 years. Can you guys believe that? 50 years we've been entertaining. It's a long time. I wasn't even alive, but that guy was. Yeah. I'm just kidding. He wasn't. Uh, anyway, so it is our last show. It's going to be a very emotional show. So please bear with us, all the trainers that are involved. Uh, we've put a lot of hard work into this show. We've been here a long time. All, for all of you, of course, uh, we love live entertainment, we love animals, and one of the most important things that we've always been trying to tell everybody is rescue animals. So please, even though, thank you, even though we will not be able to continue to perform our show here, we will continue to tell people rescuing animals is very important. Most of the animals, if not all of the animals you will see today, and if you've seen in the past, have come from rescues. So it's very important that you guys understand that. We've been entertaining guests for a long time, so it's an important thing. We love the animals, we love all of you. Thank you so much for all of your support over all the years. We have no words to say how grateful we are that all of you have come out here to support us. Thank you so much. Now before we start the show, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have all of our trainers come on stage and we're gonna do a selfie with all of you guys in the background. Because we want our last show to be a memory of all of you. And since none of us have really long arms, we might need someone to come take the picture. So, uh, hold on, maybe, uh, who can, who's got... Eric Cooper. Eric Cooper? <laughs> Eric Cooper can take the picture? Come on, Eric, come on stage. There you go, you thought you were going to get away from it. So, Eric's going to take a picture of us and all of you in the background. So once Eric is ready, you guys got to make sure you got to make a whole lot of noise. All right, you ready? All right, make sure you guys scream and shout. All right, Eric, whenever you're ready. So, thank you so much for coming to our final show. We hope you enjoy it. We hope it's everything you wanted it to be. Film away, send us videos, post them online. Thank you so much. We love you very much. Thank you. This is a three o'clock final Universal Animal Actor Show. and gentlemen, for the safety of our performers and all our animal actors, please remain seated throughout the performance and do not reach out to our birds in flight. Thanks and enjoy the show. Sound! 
Studios Hollywood, welcome to Universal's Animal Actors. Hi, my name is Jasmine, and I'm an animal trainer here at Universal Studios Hollywood. <laughs> This is my friend Muggsy. You may recognize him from episodes of Raven's Home and Superior Donut. I can't remember a time when I didn't want to work with animals. What I do remember is coming to the animal show as a child, and that was the first time I heard of America's Teaching Zoo at Moore Park College. From there, I landed my dream job here at the animal show, and my childhood dreams came true. I'm lucky to work with a great team of animal trainers and staff here at the show who truly care for, love, and respect all of our animal stars. On behalf of all of us here at Universal's Animal Actors, we hope you have a great time and enjoy the show. And now, please welcome one of Hollywood's top animal trainers, Miss Jasmine Versalis. Thank you and welcome to Universal Studios Animal Actors Show. My name is Jasmine and this is my best friend, Shelby Tinky Marie Versalis Jello. And we both work for a company that's been training animals for movies and television for over 40 years. Something you may not realize is many of your favorite animal stars are rescues and just like Shelby, they got their start right here on this stage in front of a live audience. A little bit later in the show, we're going to reveal to you what Shelby and all of her friends had to do before they got their big breaks, but until then, thank you, sweetie, you're so cute. Here's a snack for the room. You're all done, off you go. Thank you. We're gonna get the show started with a little friend of mine from We Bought a Zoo. This is Kiwi. Hi, Kiwi. Now, Kiwi is a Nande Conyer, and we've trained her to fly from person to person. In order to demonstrate that, I need help from an adult yeah! audience member, someone here in the front middle section who is not afraid of birds. Okay, this is going to be really hard. I know I wish I could pick everybody today, but we're going to go right here. You're in like a black jacket. You've got a green lanyard. You're going like this. You are the chosen one. Stand up and take out a dollar bill. Now, the reason why we ask for a dollar is Kiwi does not know this person and may feel uncomfortable flying to somebody she's never met. But as seen in this clip from Evan Almighty, we train our birds to recognize and fly to common objects. It could be anything, but here at the show, we like to use money. Do we have our dollar? Perfect! Woo! It looks like it's already folded in half. Can you fold it in half one more time? Place it in between two fingers. Hold that arm straight out to the side. Now please hold very still, that way Kiwi will see that dollar and know exactly where to fly. Oh, She's gonna God. pose for some photos when she gets there. Look at her, get her good side. And thank you very much. Ah! It's a 20. Thanks. Enjoy the show. That's going to come in handy later, huh, Kiwi? Okay, who over here has a 50 or a $100 bill? Who wants to have a Kiwi? I'm just kidding. we got to give this $20 bill back. Go ahead and stand up. We do have to make it easier on the bird. Can you please put both arms out? Great. Now you flop really hard, fly down here and get it. <laughs> nice try. Just one arm out. Palm up like a landing pad. Kiwi, they've been a good sport. What do you say we take this 20? <laughs> Kiwi, well, you got to give the money back. You take the 20. <laughs> Did somebody tell you we were out at the job? Take the 20. we got to give it back. Kiwi. Thank you, and put it right back where you found it. And folks, that's Kiwi. Thank you for volunteering. Thank you, Kiwi. That was a great way to start our show. You're very funny. You're all done. Off you go. Check it out. That's our stage hand. Not only do we get the pleasure of working with cute little birds like Kiwi, sometimes we challenge ourselves with something larger like a bird of prey. As seen in Universal's Lady Hawk, Matthew Broderick catches a hawk with precision and grace in a spectacular feat of flight. Well, we're gonna recreate that movie magic right here. If you focus your attention towards the top of our arena, we're gonna fly down a star you may have seen in the movie 310 to Yuma. Ladies and gentlemen, please remain in your seats and watch your heads. This is Arrow. <laughs> Take out that 
that $20 bill, we're gonna send you air. Uh, sit back down, tough guy. It's just a joke. Thank you, Amanda and Arrow. Arrow is a captive bred African auger buzzard that's part of the raptor family, a group of birds that consists of hawks, kites, falcons, vultures, eagles, and owls. We're gonna introduce you to two of Arrow's cousins in a rare close up appearance. Meet Iris and Olympus. are both Eurasian eagle owls. You might recognize them from the Harry Potter movies. They've also been featured in episodes of Bones, CSI, and most importantly, a Geico commercial. <laughs> Thankfully, these birds are not in danger, but many of their wild relatives are. So we here at Universal encourage everybody to do their part, to make sure beautiful, majestic creatures, just like these two, never become endangered. How about a big round of applause for Iris, Olympus, and their trainers. Thanks for bringing them out. I'd like to take a moment and introduce another feathered friend here at the show. Everybody meet Sweet Pea. something even better. With the help of that giant fan, this green screen, and a little bit of movie magic, we have the ability to transport our animals anywhere we like. Step one, we need an animal. Please help me welcome out our stump bird, Baby, our blue and gold macaw. <laughs> Tina is going to place Baby into a strong current of wind and we're gonna film the flight. Take a look. That is some fantastic flying, you two. Thank you, Tina and Baby. One of the most common questions we get asked here at the Animal Show is, how do you get your animal stars to land a role in a movie or a television series? Well, it all starts out with some basic training. And to help demonstrate, please help me welcome out a star from an upcoming SpongeBob movie. This what? is Snacks. important for our animal stars to know their basic behaviors. That includes knowing how to use a mark. A mark is a tool we use on set that lets our stars know where to stand. And I could put this anywhere on the stage, like over there, and I can say, Snacks, get on the mark. Good girl. <laughs> now that she's on her mark, I can ask her behaviors with hand and verbal cues like sit, good, speak, good, lie down, head up, head up, head up. <laughs> Snackies? Oh, oh. Stage smells good. Snacks! We're doing a show! Okay, sit. Lie down. Head down. Head up. Head up. That's okay. There we go. Good. Stay. Get back on your mark. Speak. Jump. Wee! Good job! Thank you. Now, once she starts to master those behaviors, we move on to something slightly more challenging. It's called the work away. But in order to demonstrate the work away, I need help from somebody in the audience who's not afraid of dogs, who would like to come on down here and help me out with snacks. Let me see those hands up in the air. Um, uh, right here in front, you're in a Dodgers uh, t-shirt with black on the sleeves. Go ahead and squeeze through. I'm gonna meet you here on top of the stairs. Hi, welcome, come on. Hi, what's your name? CJ. CJ? And where are you from, CJ? Anderson. Okay, well, welcome to Hollywood. Okay, CJ, come over here. You're gonna take a seat in this chair right here, okay? Don't worry, me and Snacks are gonna do all the work, okay? 
Now the work away is important on set because trainers can't always be right in front of their animal stars giving them instructions. Sometimes we have to be hidden off camera where they can't see us, but they can still hear us. Now I wanna make it look like Snacks and CJ are interacting. So Snacks already knows she's gonna get back on her mark. Good girl. But this time, I'm gonna take one of her favorite tasty treats and place it in front of our actor, CJ, because that is where I want Snacks to focus her attention. Then I can move behind Snacks. I know it's really cool because she's not gonna be able to see me. She's only gonna be able to hear my voice and that's why it's called the work away. Uh, CJ, sweetie, um, I didn't explain and I called it tasty, but the snacks are for snacks, okay? <laughs> okay, that's gross. <laughs> Good girl, Snacks, stay. CJ, stay. We're gonna do a take two. I simply have to move behind Snacks and ask her to watch it. Don't get comfortable. Good girl. <laughs> On your feet, stay. <laughs> On your feet. On your feet. It's okay, there's not like a whole crowd of animal trainers watching right now. <laughs> On your feet. Speak. Sit. Lie down. On your feet. Attack. I'm just kidding. <laughs> sit. 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 All right, you can have it. And folks, that's the yeah. action and the work away. Good job, little pug. You did a great job, CJ. Come over here with me. For helping me out, we are going to make you a trainer for a day. You wear this button proudly, OK? How about a big round of applause for our actor, CJ? Thanks, buddy. You did a good job. Not only do our animal stars have to take directions from their trainers, sometimes they have to take them directly from the actor. You know what that means? I need another volunteer. Let me see those hands in the air. Oh, so many good choices. Keep them up in the air. Um, let me see. Let's go. Um, you are in a pink long sleeve. You're holding both arms in the air. I know, I wish I could pick everybody, I'm sorry. This is a lot of pressure. Come on down. Look, you have a fan club already. That's fun. Hi, welcome up. Hi, sweetie. Thank you for volunteering. What's your name? Ariel. Ariel, and where are you from, Ariel? Actually. Welcome to Hollywood. Okay, right over here. Go ahead and take a seat in this chair, okay? Now that we have our actor Ariel in place, all we need is your animal co-star. He was in a TV show called Raven's Home. Welcome out, Muggsy. Hi, Muggsy Pug. It's a different pug, I swear. Okay, Ariel, backstage we have a big closet, okay? And it's filled with clothes, anything you could think of. There's hats, shoes, pants, anything. All I need you to do is stay in your seat. You're gonna ask Muggsy for any two pieces of clothing and he's gonna go get them for you, okay? Okay, go ahead. Was that two? Okay. Here you go, Muggsy. Scooby Snack, head on back there and get what our actor asked for. This is not a trick. It is a trained behavior. Muggsy was really taking directions from our actor, Ariel, and he's gonna bring out what she asked for one at a time. Oh, thank you. He brought out a hat. Did you ask for a hat, yes or no? Yes. Folks, we got the first one right. Yay! So smart, so handsome. There you go. Head on back there and get that second item. This is really exciting because once Muggsy gets the first one right, he never misses the second item. This is gonna be a 100% show, Muggsy. Wait a second, Muggsy, where did you get this? Get back here, oh. I am so sorry about that, folks. That was Muggsy's girlfriend. But Ariel, you did a good job. Go ahead and stand up and wave to your Hollywood fans. Good job. Ariel, sit. Good job, Noel Train. Here's a treat. I'm just kidding. You don't want that. But you did such a good job, Ariel. Come over here with me for helping me out. We are also going to make you a trainer for a day. There you go. How about a big round of applause for Ariel? person who is not afraid of dogs who wants to come on down here and help me out for our last scene. Let me see. Keep those hands in the air. I want to go over here because we went over there last time. Um, let's go. Let's go. You're in green. You have green long sleeve. Yeah, come on down. Oh, careful, careful. Safety first. 
Sorry, so many people. Wow, I like the energy. Okay. <laughs> Hi. Thank you for volunteering. What's your name? Roman. Roman. And where are you from, Roman? Oxnard. Oxnard. Welcome to Hollywood. Oh, wow. Okay, take a take a walk with me, Roman. Right this way, buddy. You're coming with me. Oftentimes on set, the director may want one of our animal stars to do something they've never done before, such as go over, around, or through things they've never seen. Well, it's our job as animal trainers to help them through that. And what better way to demonstrate than with a friendly competition? Please help me welcome out two doggy stars. We have Cooper. <laughs> So we need everyone's help. Everybody on this half of the arena, you're gonna be on Team Cooper. Cooper's the, Cooper's the very handsome terrier and he was in a movie called Benji. When I say lights, camera, action, I need you to cheer on Cooper as loud as you can. Are you ready? Lights, camera, action! This half of the arena, you're on Team Riley. Riley's the really handsome Australian Shepherd, and he was in the movie Show Dogs. You know what to do. Lights, camera, action! I think that our, was our loudest crowd ever. Let's explain our scene. The director wants our dogs to start by jumping over our human hurdle. They're gonna weave in and out of these poles, shoot through the tunnel, jump back over our actor, and finish off by ringing the bell. We can only film one doggy star at a time, and Team Cooper, you're up first. Make sure he can hear you. you mostly just don't touch it let it dry okay you did a good job kid no one's gonna know come over here with me we're not gonna let you leave empty-handed you are also a trainer for a day there you go how about a big round of applause john you forgot something what did i do i was over there Okay, check him out. I am checking him out. Stop yelling at me. <laughs> Wake up, little buddy. Oh, this is not good, Jasmine. Yeah, I think he's dead. Think yeah, he's dead, man. <laughs> That's not funny, lady. He was my best friend. Bless you. You're dead. Okay. He's making you look real ridiculous right now. Okay, that's not working. That's not working. It worked! Get some help! Okay, help! Help! There's a very hungry TED Talk on stage and a very dramatic trainer. Anybody? Who hired you? Okay. Wait, 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 wait. I have a great idea. Let's just run a CAT scan. Yeah, it's a great idea. It's a big machine. We'll put the... That's a real cat guy. Thank <laughs> you. 
We are per they all lost their minds. Professionals. We talked about being professional for the last. Everybody give it up for Mr. Michael Stokes. He ran sound here for 30 years. Come on. 